everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, so here I have my nice Pokemon, Aridos. And Aridos has explained to me that you have a late feeding video to make. And today, guys, is the day where I'm going to be making Tarantula Feeding Video 138. So it's been a while since I last made a new feeding video. I'm excited to show you uh, the new additions, mainly the Saviors, which is my colony of Hysterocrates Gigas, the Cameroon Red Baboon. So guys, grab a bag of popcorn. This is going to be an interesting show. Um, video description will have timestamps of all the Tarantulas by their scientific name and their common name, if applicable. So, let's enjoy the show. Let's start off with the saviors. I'm Negan. I have always will be Negan. So uh, this is a Walking Dead reference to uh, the saviors. Uh, these are my colony of Hysterocrates gigas, the Cameroon red baboon that Rose has donated to me. So um, there is about at least 11, 12 of those guys right here. So. We're going to dump in some pinheads that I just picked up right off the press from my local pet store. There's one right there. Well, look at that, they're all coming out. Look at that. Come on, saviors. Okay, I count about 10. Hmm. All right, guys, so unfortunately, Colony is not interested in eating. Is my mature female Phonopelma simani, uh, which is the Costa Rican zebra. So this is a five inch female. Beautiful. Oh, Lucille is pretty active. She is my female Lassiodora kluge, which is the Bahia scarlet bird eater. Give her about two supers because she's got a super appetite. Bah! Hit it like a champ! And that's why Lucille is Negan's secret weapon. And his choice weapon that he uses. Oh, wait, well, I can't wait for the new season to come out. October 23rd. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm loving this. Sweet. Now let's check my big one. 
giggity giggity goo mine is bigger <laughs> this is marissa she is the largest tarantula that i currently own uh this is my nine inch female lassidura kluge bahia scarlet bird eater so she's gonna get a few supers so let's see how she acts there we go there was the first one and man she's a chunky girl that's what i would tell you I want to show you how big she is. There's my hand. Hang on, let me just put it on. There's my hand, and that's how big she is. She actually literally covers my hand. Crazy large species. Hmm, cool Weber. Ah, there we go. Much better. So this is my female Pocotheria ornata, the fringed ornamental. And that, my friends, is how fast pokies can be. Yeah, she currently has about six legs. Uh, she did suffer a molt, uh, molting problem, so she lost uh, both uh, one leg here and I think both legs on pair number three. But as you can see, quite healthy and an avid runner. All right, this one is Dear Michaela. She is my female rose hair tarantula, Gramistola poteri. Hmm. What a sweet little lass. So we'll give her one more. See, she'll take it. Aridos use spin attack and dig, and it seems to be effective. <laughs> cool. This one coming eerily close to my camera is my mature female, Pamphobedius Ultra Marinus, which is the Ecuadorian purple pink femur. Uh, this was an adult female that I bought from Tarantula Canada. It's a shame that no one wanted her. I mean, I believe that this is, in my opinion, the most beautiful member of the Pamphibedius because of the your colors. Um, since it's an older specimen, you don't really see much of the coloration, even though that she freshly molted, I think a couple of weeks ago. But you can just barely make out the purple and pink on uh, her legs. Uh, it's more visible on my juvenile female, which you'll see probably later on in this part of the video. Okay, we'll let's give one more. Mm, it's a small one. Oh, there's a nice one. Nice juicy wortle. Oh, 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 she's chasing it, chasing. Can she grab it? Can she do it? Yes, she can. Here is Aragog blending into the cork bark. <laughs> uh, this is a female Brachypelma abopolosum. 
which is the Honduras curly hair. Uh, this is the hobby form. Uh, trying to get a super here. Woo, savage. Okay, let's see, there's another one. This batch of super worms is not the greatest. Okay, there we go. Got a live one. Got a live one here. You be dead. Damn nature, you scary. This one here is the classic tarantula in my opinion, and this would actually made me buy tarantulas in the first place. Uh, this is Brachypelma homori, formerly Brachypelma smithy, uh, the Mexican red knee. So Brachypelma had a couple of name revisions. And this was one of the more recent name changes that people don't necessarily agree upon. So she is about five inches female. There we go. Brachypelma verdesi. Uh, the Mexican Rose Gray. This is a little inch and a half specimen, unsexed. So let's see how... Hey, not bad. Takes on an adult cricket. Did it like a champ. Very cool, these species. Very similar looking to Brachypelma vagans. Great eaters. All right, this one here is an unsexed Brachypelma smithy, formerly Brachypelma anatha, the Mexican giant orange knee. Very similar looking to the homori, except the most notable difference is the fact that they have orange knees versus red knees. And they're a lot more skittish. Oh, that male cricket is smart. He's like, yeah, right. Why would I go there? Goodbye, crew. Whoa. Goodbye, crew world. Enjoy that nice takedown. Yeah, this is a uh, juvenile. All right, this one here is another Brachypelma smithy, formerly Anatha. This is a confirmed female. She is close to about two and a half inches, nearly pushing three. Uh, her name is Anita. All right, so here we go. I think one worm should be fine for her. Beautiful. All right, I got the perfect opportunity here, guys, uh, to film uh, my Carabina Laeda, Puerto Rican pink toe, formerly in the Vicularia species that recently undergone some revisions like the bracket palmas. So uh, this one here is my three inch female. go. Oh, is she coming out for a nice shot? Oh, please, girl. OK, 
Come on, sweetie. Come on, come on, girl. Well, it's about as close as you're going to get for her. Yeah, she's got both of those worms in her mouth. Awesome. Let me just get a nice close shop shot of her. There we go. Perfect. That's much better. All the more eyes to see you, my dear. Perfect. Excellent. There we go, perfect. Now I could get a full body shot of her now. Definitely not the most colorful of the pink toes. But definitely one of the more hardy ones. Yeah, she's about three and a half inches and that's pretty much considered an adult. Sweet! Encased in her webs is my sub-adult female Hedescodra maculata, which is the Togo Starburst baboon uh, that I named Libby the second. Yeah, my names are pretty original. Oh, she's hungry. She is definitely hungry. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, let me just fixate it on the camera. Okay, so we've seen her butt. Yeah, she's going to do a quick 180. Beautiful. You gotta love your African arboreals. Here's my Trinidad Chevy. Ironically, I drive a Chevy. Uh, Trinidad Chevron. Samopoas Cambridge. Uh, this one is probably a suspect male. Quick little guy. Lightning speed. I like him. Cool. Oh boy. So, hope this goes out well. Feeding my female OBT adult, Ternotulus Murinus, red phase. Orange bitey thing, slash orange baboon, Usambara baboon. Orange Starburst. So many of these common names. Oh, there she is. Holy mackerel, she's huge. Yeah, she's about probably about six inches. Pretty respectable size. She gonna come take it? <laughs> there we go. Gotta love your orange bitey things. And the webs they make. Up next is a female Pocotheria Tigrina Wesseli, which is the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. This is a mature female named Dina. Whoa, that's awesome. Try one more time. Beautiful. Oh, nice, she molted too. I gotta get a nice up up close shot of her. All right, guys, get ready to see what a Tigrina Wasselli looks like up close. 
very, very eye-catching tee. All right, so I think my camera battery is about to die. So I'm gonna be charging it and picking it up tomorrow. All right guys, so it's the 19th of September. I charged my battery and giving an update on the Saviors, which is my colony of Hysterocrates gigas, Cameroon red baboons. And you can see there's a bunch of them. Yeah, there they are. And I gave about 11, sorry, I gave a dozen pinhead crickets and there's only one left, so Colony is really doing well. I'm happy. So that's awesome. So I'm going to do one more shelf and that will be it for part one and we'll continue on with part two of the feeding video. So uh, I'm going to pick a shelf at random and away we go. All right, back to boozeness with some teas. Now this one here is a mature female, Cyclosternum species Macala which is known as the Peruvian peach collard, not a name Peachy Natasha. One of my most offensive new worlds next to uh, Jezebel, my mature female Pecan Cerides. But she ate well. Yeah, that's what she looks like. Freshly molted. This one here is a juvenile female Pocotheria formosa, which is the Salem ornamental. Boosh! I love these pokies. They have a nice hint of purple. on their carapace. Lovely. All right, let's see how Lily is doing. She is my mature female Monocentropus balfoury, which is the Socotra blue-legged baboon. Whoa, pounce on that one. Hell yeah, that's a nice spider. Woo! Awesome. Special thanks for T-Soy Spiders for giving me this specimen back in 2012. So it's been about five years since I owned her. All right guys, here's Mina. 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 Yeah, a little reference to Leslie Nielsen's or Mel Brooks uh, Dracula Den loving it. That's an inspiration of this particular tarantula. Uh, she is a Nandu Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian black and white. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. Dun, dun, ow! <laughs> MJ would be proud. Here is Kate, a lovely female Carabina Versicolor, and Tilly's Pink Toe, formerly of the Calaria Versicolor. Hey, Lego my ego! There we go, that's what I wanted her to do. Really cute female, she's close to around, I'd say the three inch mark. And oh, maybe a little bit smaller, about two and a half, really. From the directors that brought you the Ceragopica species, I now present to you with Orthonoctinus orientibalius, the Thailand fringe. This is a two inch female.
Yep. Perfect. Did not expect any less. All right, so now let's feed this particular spider. Uh, this one is a female Nandu tripepi, the giant blonde bird eater. This is a huge, huge Nandu that's gonna get up to about eight inches as an adult. Uh, she is about two inches. There we go. A little help from your daddy. Nice. Oh, is she bird. She actually freshly molted and looks completely beautiful. Uh, this one here is a female Brachypelma angustum which is the Costa Rican red-haired. Look like to the bee wagons. And shares the same appetite. Up next is Angelica, my Gramistola Poteri female. This is the common rose hair. two worms for her. Let's see, she's interested in the second one. What a pig. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make this three for three. Uh, this is my male, Lassidora Klugi, Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater, that I named Necroth. Great job, buddy. The big, the bad, the bold, Kilobrachy species Cane Cratchin. I think which is called the Darth, the Dark Earth Tiger. Yeah. So this is a mature female that I got from Tarantula Canada. So let's see how she does. Woo, savage. <laughs> Quite a nice uh, little eater. Nice Kilobrachy species from Asia. Yeah, look at that doing the happy dance. All right, so let's go have a look at some of my brachypalmas. So this one here is my female brachypalma erratum, the Mexican flame knee. Unfortunately, Leon passed away, so I have Ada left. And you could tell this is a flame these by looking at their patella markings little shape of a flame this one is chimera a very beautiful bracket palma unfortunately she's a hybrid uh, she is a cross between a B. bumgartenai and a B. bomi uh, which I call the Mexican orange beauty Very nice specimen. Three inch female. And just because she is a crossbreed, I am not breeding her. She's just for showpiece in my collection. And I'll give you a little snippet of a true Bee Bum Gart tonight, what they're supposed to look like. Let me go get her. Okay, guys, behold the true Brachypalma Bum Gart tonight, which is the McCohen Orange Beauty. 
you can tell uh, she is much more different than Chimera. The real giveaway is the carapace. For a true Bibam Gartana, you should have a completely darkened carapace, just like the Bihamori. So, let's see how this little girl is interested. Oh, nice! Took it like a champ. Yep, she is about 2.75 inches. Once again, you have the darkened carapace, just like the homori, and you have the legs, very characteristic to be bomi, and the fact that they're all orange, flash red. I mean, camera appears to be orange, and my naked eye vision, uh, they appear a little bit red. Nandu Tripepi, the giant blonde bird eater, this one is an unsex specimen. Right here. Oh, there we go, she came out, or he. Showing its adult colors already, about an inch and three quarters. Okay guys, so this is an update video of Chitose. She is my blue bloom bird eater, Zenithus species Columbia blue. Uh, female, about three and a half inches. You can right away tell where they got the species blue name. All the femurs are blue. Almost like cobalt blue color. And it's really odd that I named her Chitose because Chitose it was a character in Fatal Frame 2. And ironically, she is only wearing red, so I went along with the name. Oh, nice. There we go. I wanted her to attack. Really, really gorgeous specimen. First crack at species blue and I end up getting a female. Ah, perfect candid shot for this one. This is a suspect male. Megafabima robustum, the Colombian giant red leg. Okay, let's see if I can try to. Boosh. There we go. Yeah, these guys get up to about eight inches in length. Leg span wise, from diagonal of the first leg to the end of the last leg. Let's have a look at this uh, species here. Very nice, gorgeous Megafabima. One of the largest members can attain about an eight inch leg span, so it's pretty nice. All right, so this is the last tarantula I'll feature in part one of the feeding video. I wanted to end the first part with a bang and feature one of my most beautiful members of my Brachypalma collection. This is a stunning B Classy, which is the Mexican pink. Her name is Petunia, obviously because she looks like a little flower. <laughs> and she's eating, not a, pro not a problem.
and what's really cool is that Tarantula Canada has imported some of these spiders so you can get them uh, so sh oh she wants it she's gonna hunt do 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 giggity giggity goo all right <laughs> all right guys so this concludes part one of the feeding video I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it so stay tuned for part two where I'm gonna feature uh, the shelves right here four five six seven nine split into two parts so four five six seven nine all right so next video, uh, I have something really important to show you and I'm going to go on to my iPhone success because it's a real, real cool video to show you guys. Oh, and by the way, don't worry about that. That's a mold. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.